comfortable? Yeah, thank you. <laughs> um, you already uh, answered a few questions uh, after uh, your lecture. Um, we wonder, do you know about David Hubbard of the Hubbard Foundation? Yes. Um, he showed in his fMRIs that uh, there is a big difference uh, in deoxygenated blood flow before and after ballooning. Is that um, evidence that there's no way it can be uh, signed to placebo effect because it's functional MRI? Completely. You do? <laughs> yes, I agree. Because uh, uh, in this talk, uh, I presented shortly mm -hmm. a paper presented to get together uh, Dr. Zivadin of uh, the last uh, American Academy of Neurology. And we found a similar finding because mm -hmm. we found hypoperfusion mm -hmm. in people with. Uh, uh, CCS mm -hmm. And interestingly, hypoperfusion is more severe mm -hmm. according to the severity of the, of the extracranial occlusion. Hypoperfusion is the same finding of hypooxygenation. Mm -hmm. Because if, if your brain parenchyma is hypo, I present hypoperfusion, mm -hmm. you have less chance to have good oxygenation of the brain. So, this confirmed totally the finding of the public. Why is um, your dear uh, colleague uh, just a few minutes ago, why is he refusing to see into that evidence? I, 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 I do not know really why, because uh, uh, they really try to understand more and probably they do not have uh, a vascular background so probably it is difficult. The approach was good because it was a scientific approach but uh, the study design yes. uh, does not respond to an exploration, yes. a functional exploration of the venous circulation because uh, uh, if you are a patient or subject is in supine posture, oxygenation could be a good measurement. But if you look at the flow, mm -hmm. you have to look what happens when you mm -hmm. breathe, when you change posture. Yes. Yes. And this, of course, is not possible yes. in, uh, in, uh, in the MRI. No. So I propose it and I show it first results in this talk by using. Uh, combined technology. Yes. So you may use actually with a fantastic technology that we develop. Mm -hmm. You may use MRI mm -hmm. to get a transcranial doctor. Yes. Of so you may be very, very precise in uh, in the vein nomenclature, mm -hmm. but more precise in, in hemodynamics because you may see what happened yeah. by respiration and by changing posture. Think, this yeah. probably could be uh, a point of contact mm -hmm. between our, our vision of CCSVI and neurologists that uh, actually refuse uh, yes. this kind of theory. Yes, but did you know in advance, before you heard uh, Mr. Van Oster uh, give his uh, speech, did you know about this study? No. So this is the first time you, you hear about this yes, well study? Yes, it was the first time Yes. and uh, I was very curious but immediately I, yeah. I understand that uh, uh, if you use conventional MRI and MRB mm -hmm. yes. uh, is used in uh, multiple sclerosis from over 20 years mm -hmm. and if some abnormalities mm -hmm could be detected in this way, they dis probably should have been discovered CCSVI 20 years ago. Sure. But they did. For if yeah. you are continuing to use the same methodology, yes. you, we, you cannot yeah. detect nothing of interest, yeah. of course. Well, we, in advance, uh, before they started this uh, study um, in the Netherlands, 
we already had commented on what was known uh, about the research methods. All the things you say, we already uh, told them um, and asked why are you doing this research not according to uh, Mrs. Amboni's protocol. Because you're measuring something with a completely different um, measurement, so you can't compare. And the, and the other things, but uh, today I did not uh, listen any valid um, argument mm -hmm. against uh, my point and also my answers. Mm -hmm. To the contrary, when I uh, underlined the uh, in a, in a, in a deck, uh, is not adequate uh, mm -hmm. methodology used yeah. for this kind of study, uh, he did not uh, answer nothing. No, 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 because he has uh, no answer. Nothing no at all. No. And also the audience yeah. understood very well that this they did. is... Yes. Well, I always, well, yes, I always wonder because um, these vascular surgeons, it's another area, so they probably hear for the first or the second time about CCSVI. So yes, but this is, was good because the, the title was introducing yeah. CCSVI to the vascular surgeon because I want to, to focus on this. Of course. My choice was to face neurology first. Mm -hmm. And my hope was to convince neurology of CCSVI because yeah. vascular surgeon can be easily convinced on interventional radiologists mm -hmm. if you show imaging and whatever. Mm -hmm. But the important things for me was to convince neurologists to assess venous yes. function in very patients. Yes. Think out this thought. operation, mm -hmm. unfortunately, was not... Uh, <laughs> was well, not, not highly successful. No, but no. That's, no, but... That's not your fault. Uh, now I may, I may present this, I'll present this mm -hmm. next week to the Italian Society of Vascular Surgery uh, on November to the major meeting in vascular and vascular surgery and interventional radiology in the United States. Mm -hmm. And uh, in the next, uh, and I published the next paper in uh, trying to involve other disciplines in radiology, neuroradiology, mm -hmm. and uh, vascular surgeon, of course, interventional so radiology. So yeah. a lot of other people, mm -hmm. because uh, I am really alone against neurologists, so it's very yes. difficult uh, to collect uh, uh, enough data mm -hmm. by alone. So I need to have a group uh, yes. that are interested and try to replicate our findings. And I hope also to find uh, new data, like happened with this beautiful study yes. you mentioned in the oxygenation. So yes. this is fantastic for me. It is. And, uh, it is. Um, did you know about... Uh, Paulos, for now. Stanno registrando. Un minuto. <laughs>